Let's move on and do some of the other isometric shapes. So one thing that's worth noticing is that when you hit Shift 7 to put an isometric view, the cube here represents the front, right, and top. It shows where they are. So when I put my part into my drawing, by default, it will always put this face first, looking from the lower left. And in this case, I think that's OK. But in, we might have to change that at some point. So uh, what I mean by that, let's just go in and create the drawing for this guy. Remember, we're going to use the CalHi A millimeter DWT file drawing template. And what I mean is this insert menu here. The front, we know where that is. It's, it's going to look like that based on the orientation that we made it. So that's why orientation is important. I'm gonna, that seems a little big. So I'm going to scale it down to here. Uh, I'm going to left click, left click, left click, left click, drag. And as usual, I want my isometric to be a shaded. And I want to show the hidden lines on all the orthographic views. Oops, there we got a hidden line there. Let's confirm that that makes sense. So on our right view, we've got a hidden line because we're looking at it from that direction. And that makes sense. There may be a way to turn on the hidden lines by default. We'll, we'll look into that. Again, for this one, we're going to take a similar approach. So my dimension tool is here. I'm going to start on the front, and I'm going to define all the components on the width here. So I, I think it's a better to, to dimension the bumpy sides. As you can see, the top of this one, is the topography is kind of bumpy, if you know what I mean, right? It's got a... It's got shape, uh, structure there, so I like. I think it's a good idea to do, to do that. Now, notice the di distance between the lines. That's it should be just like what I have. So it shouldn't be something like this, and then these two are together. should should not be something like that. They should all be consistent. In fact, I probably had them a little too far away from each other. So you want to be consistent on that. So that, that's something that's better. Okay, so we've got some of the features on the width. Let's go ahead and take a look at what are some other things we can do. This guy here. And maybe from here to here to get the some details on the height. And notice that the longer dimension is always further away from the object than the shorter ones. That's another rule. That should be centered like that. And you can see these are a little further away than the ones in the front view, so it gets a little picky. What else can we do? Let's also do it this way. Now, most of the time you want to avoid having some of your extension lines cross, like here's an extension line here and here they cross, but in this particular case, we're going to go with it. So there's our dimensions there. And then, so what do we have left? We had uh, three on the front. We've got four on the right. Is there any feature we don't understand? I think we know everything. So I think this guy is irrelevant. The symmetry of this part is such that I don't need this one. So I can right click, delete. And I would have a, a graph that looks like that, a drawing that looks like that. OK, let's go and take a look at C. So here is C. And you can see that if we just put in the front view into the drawing, we're going to have a hidden line because of these corners back here and back here. In general, you want to try to avoid that, but sometimes it's the best route, and it is for this. So we're going to get the right template for millimeters and put in the front here. Well, let's see if we can fit it all in at the one-to-one -one scale. So I'm going to left click here, move to the right, left click, left click again on the front, move up. There it is. And I don't think that's, I think that's too big. That was a poor choice by Onshape to speculate on making that one-to-one -one scale. It's too big. So I'm going to right click and delete on the front view. And just on all the views, just, just delete them. Now, let's go up here. This button here is for inserting. So we can bring back the insert button. But now I have to click here and decide what I'm going to insert. And I think we're on uh, C. So I'm going to click on isometric C. And this is the part. And there it is. So I'm going to click there. And you can see I can put it back in. Now I'm going to make this one to two. I think those were just too big. So I'll left click, move over to the right, left click, left click on the front, move up, left click, move to the right, escape, right click, show shaded views, right click, show hidden lines on all the orthographic views. And you can see on the front view, we do have some hidden lines. You want to avoid that if possible, but I think it's the best route here. So let's go ahead and take care of this one. So again, I'm going to start on the front view and define some of the width components. That's 20. And then we want to make sure we always dimension the overall height, width, and depth. So there's our width. And we know that distance here because it's 80 minus 20. 
Let's take a look at some of the features for the height. A lot of action going on here. So how about here? That distance there we know. How about all the way up to here? How can we know that? Well, we'll dimension it there. And then, of course, the overall height we will go here. While we're at it, let's put it here and for that feature and there. And that doesn't look very good. So what you want to do here is press escape and pull this guy out. Let me zoom in here. Pull this guy out a little bit. There we go. That looks a little better. All right. So we have that. What else do we need? Um, this has a lot. This one has a lot of dimensions we need to specify. We need that one. We need that one. And again, just kind of see what I'm doing here. Some of the general rules, the dimensions of the longer things are always further away. I always have the, the, the full width, the full depth, and the full height specified. And finally, I think there's one further dimension I need to specify that would be right there. So how many is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that is a pretty complicated part, but I think that's okay. And notice how the distances are all consistent. Again, these look like they're spaced a little further apart, but that's okay. I think it's close enough. I think that looks better. Yeah, part of it is how it looks. You want it to look neat and consistent with throughout the drawing. And that is a correctly dimensioned drawing. Maybe this guy comes down a little bit. Cor correctly dimensioned drawing for part isometric C. I think I'll end here and we'll pick it up on another video.